we're celebrating Katie's bachelorette a little bit. Woo! Which I can't believe. I feel like we've been celebrating all week, and I'm so freaking spoiled by you. It's so sweet. I have been a puddle. My heart has been a puddle since I arrived. There were boxes of gifts when we got here, and I was like, what do you mean? How? She's like, but I have bags of gifts. And I'm like, but we already had boxes. But that wasn't for the bachelorette. This is like bachelorette specific. specific. But it's so cute. <laughs> oh. Okay, so your bags are in front of you. That one's for Holly. So you guys get over here. Oh my I gosh. got myself one. Beach, please. That's the thing. It's like you have to, because then, yeah. I didn't want to be left out. Yeah, no. <laughs> This oh my so gosh. Crazy. Oh, this, this is, is so cute. <gasps> it says, is this a glass? Is mine so very? Is this a glass? Just mine so very? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Survival oh kit. Is this like a little like oh drink? It's a cup. God. Yeah, so we'll have to wash it. Ah! Kate, oh, oh, this is so cute. So we all got black women and Katie got white. Cute. Oh my gosh. Champagne one, huh? Yeah. Oh, Will you shut gosh. up? Oh my god, those Pride. are so cute. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh. It was so funny. So I like I, you. I know you did your like other bachelorette. I saw that you had heart ones, but I had like, already ordered them, and I was like, are these the same? No, they're not the same. <laughs> I think these fit my face better. The other ones were like children. Oh my god. To have and to hold yeah. your hair back. Oh my god. <laughs> How god. great is that? I love. Have you seen me on yeah. weekend? Yeah. Oh, beach bat. Oh, there's a bag I here. Love. A gift bag here for you. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. Oh my god. If you like oh. pina colada. <gasps> These oh smell god. so good. Yeah, it's also a little soap. Is this soap? soap? Wait, yeah, they're oh. little hand soap. No, no, that's that's lip scrub. Yeah, so this is lip scrub. So that's love. lip scrub. So it's like where my beach is at. Oh my survival gosh. kit. And that has Advil in there. Oh yeah. yeah. I just took a Tylenol. I'll be taking. <laughs> Look, and we got the. This is so, a lip scrub. Yeah. Wait till she gets to that one. Good luck. I'm, did I already go through everything? Too yeah. Fast? Just hold that for me. So then there's a special <gasps> little. So okay, so. There's little chapsticks, and they say Katie's Beach, Beach Bash, Bash, and then they say totally off topic, and they have our names on them, and we have a bunch of extra ones for our patrons, so... What? Patrons? Patrons! Patrons, if you sign Anthony up, Davis, you're getting Katie's one of Beach these. Bash exclusive chapstick. Just for Katie's patrons. Woo! <laughs> if you love me, sign up. If you hate me... <laughs> So I know. I know. <laughs> and you can hate with moisturized lips. What's the flavor yeah. of this one? Juicy peach. Oh, Juicy peach. Oh, Thank you so much. These are so cute. This beach is so bad. Beach badge. Oh, you guys already put yours on. I'm yeah. like behind, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, these smells You're like yagging it together. Oh, I'm not going to open mine. But I, I like to have it all resting on my stomach. I'm like... This is so fun. Okay, beach uh, bash win. If the little, if this thing leaks at all. What's that, Katie? And yeah, that might be what it is. Yeah. <gasps> Are these crystals? Sorry. Did you give me freaking crystals? So it's like, no, what? it's just like an extra little, it's an extra little thing. It came from those same people that made the, um, the mist. Yeah. I can feel it. I can sense it. Also, we did manifest this week with the mist. <gasps> oh, yeah. What? Yes. <laughs> Jones, Crystal Temple of Doom, right? Yeah. That looked like the mm. crystal that was within the school. I really like peach. I always get these when I mm. get, I know you don't I sage, but I, I always, <laughs> I thought, it tastes, I yeah. like it. I love to um, buy. I think I'm selling, like, what's on my lips right now or something. <gasps> I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Happy. Well, this is a good time, actually. So yeah, and then we just wanted to tell you you're fired. <laughs> Off on each other. Do you, are these body soaps or are, are they, they face soaps? I think soaps? they're like hand soaps. Oh. 
This just in. Look at the detail. The so, chopstick is tasty. So what happened is, is I actually ordered can soaps. <laughs> um, but they were from. They came as flowers. <laughs> what? They came as flowers. No, no, no. no. You have the to lady, kiss it, and then they were really grow. cool, and they were like, they were so cute, but they were like little. Um, but they were adorable. Yeah. And the lady it's messaged sweet. me, and she's like. I'm in Australia and they're not letting us ship stuff to the oh. United States. So like blah blah blah. So like I looked everywhere. And no I one looked, else in so the US made like, penis soap. I mean not on Etsy. Well, yes. no, there were other ones, but they just came as cute. They were kind of like these ones were like, like cute. Like too real. Yeah, these yeah, ones were yeah, cute. Like yeah, these <laughs> ones were cute, like round little. They looked like like growers or showers. No, they were just oh. a little tiny, like, I don't know, they were cute, but, like, the other ones were, like, like flesh-colored, or, like, they had veins on them and stuff, and Gross. I was, like... Uncircumcised? No. Like, yeah, but what the more it? you use it, it gets uncircumcised. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, I was, like, succulents are, like, sort of in my realm yeah. of, like, hippie-ish, so we'll do succulents. Also, yeah, like, I'm a succulent fan, like... <laughs> Obviously, yeah. Out. You want to answer some questions? Let's do it. Yeah, Let's get in the bucket. Now um, that we have all of our buttons on, and we have yeah. our, I have my sunglasses. Okay, I like this. My screen. Okay. Um, okay, what is your favorite piece of clothing? Ooh. This is such a good one. Um, I like my pajamas. I have a guilty pleasure of Walmart pajamas, and oh, they're, yeah. they're borderline old lady pajamas, but like I just love them, and I have four or five different pair, and they're just these little dresses, and <laughs> that's it. They're like like a like a thick band tank top, <coughs> round, like almost like a like a house coat kind of, but yeah. and like I love when I like do my laundry, fold all my pajamas, and then I can pick, and my favorite one is this one that's like pink and black with some flowers and I always look like what new ones have they come out they've kind of changed it to where they're longer now or they have sleeves and I'm like no but I do like like pajamas like fresh pajamas oh, what's nice. your favorite piece of clothing I think I like uh yoga pants mm -hmm. and I like to be in them at any time not just when I'm working out like I'm one of those people that'll put it on and like sometimes I, sometimes I'll end up working out but I feel like I feel good in them and comfy, and they're just like I like the compression. Sometimes yeah. it feels comforting. It feels like it's holding everything in. Yeah, yeah. And then if someone comes to the door, if you need to do something in a rush, you're usually good to go. Yeah, like you're you're yeah. you're there. Right. Like I can answer my door for a tenant and not be like I'm in laundry. Right. Yeah. Uh, flip end of that. My favorite pair of clothes or clothing my favorite is like these old sweatpants that I have which are kind mm -hmm. of the opposite and I'm trying to get more into the athleisure wear because these sweatpants are probably from 2000 and 2001 and I got them from playing field hockey it was our team gift that year and really any pair of old sweatpants, I love. Yeah. I look, I do not look good when I'm at home. <laughs> like not even, not even the slightest. I, I'm, I'm more worried about comfort yeah. over, yeah, it's really bad. I like a good pair of joggers too. Yeah. Oh, joggers are cute. When they like, they crunch at the bottom. Yes. What about you, Hillary? Oh, mine's a hoodie. Yeah. 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 A good hoodie too. It can't be like. Some of them don't stretch right or they don't feel right. Like I want a big, comfy hoodie. I don't want it. I have a couple that are like tight and smaller for like cute, whatever. I, those are okay. Yeah. Like I want a hoodie that I like swim in. That it's just like warm and I like put the hood up and I just like yeah. I like and it. no bra just necessary. Work on your computer. I just work on oh, my yeah. no, bra. <laughs> no bra. Yeah. No bra with the hoodie. Like yeah, just, oh, it's amazing. Yeah, I love hoodies. Big pine hoodie is a good hoodie. It is a good hoodie. The, the banana bros hoodies are the same ones. They're good oh, hoodies. Yeah. I took a bunch of stuff to Minnesota earlier this year, and all I really used to stay warm was that big pine hoodie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, that's what I like. I just same with the shirts. Like I want, like it has to be like good because I'm gonna wear it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Oh, okay. What's your three-year plan? <gasps> oh, damn. Three-year plan. I'll go. Yes. Okay. 
Uh, Tots is gonna start a live show. Woo! A monthly live show. Uh, I want to open a comedy club. I would like to start doing Big Pine again, COVID allowing. Yes. Um, I think those are like my main things. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty legit. In three it's years, lot. my goal would be really if we could. I understand it's gonna take a couple of years off. But it'd be great if we could start again in year three. Like in three years, Big Pine will be like live Back again. in full swing. Yeah, with like people. With yeah. young. <laughs> Not <Well>. virtual. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mine is to get married, which is happening. Like I'm sure by the time this comes out, it'll have happened. Three years. Yeah, my three week plan. Honestly, that's as far out as we should look at this point. For me personally, things are up in the air. Uh, other than my camera husband, yeah, like, <laughs> he's not up in the air. Never mind, not cold feet. So I would love to get back to touring colleges, making money doing comedy, mm. and fuck yeah, and then also just like taking on the world as part of the Broken Dirt team. Woo I like it. Mary, um, three years. I want a TV credit. I want to record a special. I want a wide, um, a wide ass. No, I want, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, yes, girl. I want like a wide okay. following for Wings with Friends podcast. Yeah. I want a wide following for Tots. Um, I want to, and I want to be like touring more, like traveling for comedy more. Okay. Um, and maybe a boyfriend. Is that too much to ask? Woo! No. no. But I put it out there. That's scary to say. But I just said it. I want a, do I want a boyfriend? I want the right boyfriend. Yes, that's the best that's answer for key. that. That's the key. But I want those other things first. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you said it last. I know, right? Yes. Wait, wait a second. I'm like a man. No. no. <laughs> Carrie. Okay, so three years. Um, there's two things I think about kind of my career career, which would be hopefully shifted into more like legal minded stuff for businesses and helping like BDP from like an operational standpoint, but having the necessary skill set and education to provide legal oversight for things. Yeah. And then maybe even help some other startups because I'm getting so much experience with BDP. So really out of cyber altogether. And then from like a creative standpoint, I want TOTS to like literally be interstellar. Like I want us to be so big and then I, I'm, I'm always gonna like think this, so I'm actually gonna put it out there because it'll keep me accountable. Mm -hmm. I'd like to write and film and have a complete web series out there. Yeah. Like 10 episodes yeah. each, 10 minutes each. I already have the idea and the story arc. It's just like getting it done. And it's scary like saying all yeah, this. Just, yeah, and we can produce it. And then BDP can produce it. And I would, you know, I would not want to start it, but there's some other like people that are already on our team that could start on it if they want. Um, Why don't you want to start yeah. it? I don't know. I think I want to be behind the camera okay. and writing. I think it would be more fun. This is such a good question. I know. Yes. I like it. This good job, fun. ladies. Next. Let's do it. Yeah, go ahead. Katie? How do you feel about women proposing? Oh. oh. Hillary? Well, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold my tea. You guys tell first. <laughs> okay. Um, I think more power to you, like, the ladies that propose, like, it makes me have a fuck yeah feeling inside for them, but I personally would, like, burst into flames if I did. Like, I could never do it, yeah. because I'm such a prideful bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my answer. <laughs> I'm, I'm in Katie K's court on this. I... I love it when a female takes the relationship in her own hands. I think also anytime a proposal is involved, usually both partners know that it's coming or they're on the same page. Yeah. So maybe at that point, it really doesn't matter if the gal proposes. I personally would never do it. I do like the idea that, and I know it's, I think it's an Irish tradition that on leap year, women can propose. Oh, cool. And they had that movie with Amy Adams called yeah. Leap Year. Yeah. So I think is that, that what it's about? yeah, it's like yeah. every four years is the Imagine. opportunity to, for, for a girl, it's like socially acceptable and like Irish Catholic, like horrific, like conditions that a lady can like My propel God. the relationship yeah. forward. 
But I like the I like the romanticism of that. But me personally, I would never do it. But more power to you if you did. Yeah, I have a feeling somebody's okay with it. No, I couldn't because what I've learned is like anytime I I have to hold myself back from chasing boys because what I've learned is like then you don't know if that's what they really want. They just go, okay. And like, then they're not, I feel like they wouldn't be bought in. Like, like I couldn't propose. I can't, like I said, I don't even have a boyfriend, so I don't know, even know how any of this works. <laughs> so, uh, no, I want to be proposed to. And by the way, my brothers and sisters, I remember one day teasing me, and I remember getting really upset, but I don't know why. They're like, is, how is somebody going to propose to you? Because they're going to be like, are you going to, Will you marry me, Mary? Like, it won't work with my name being Mary. Oh. Mary. oh and I was like, no, stop it. Like, I didn't get it. And it's not even funny. They were dumb. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, like, it's kind of cute. Like, yeah. Will you marry me, Mary? That's cute. cute. Yeah. On different, like, Zoom calls or WebEx calls, when it has, sometimes it says, like, um, like, when I log in, it says my name, it says Mary, in parentheses, it says me. And then I'm always like, because <laughs> um, it's like that's me. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I that's all I feel about this. <laughs> okay. So I would say, um, with my husband Brian, I actually did propose. Um, how? Tell us. How? <laughs> so I wasn't going to propose. It was not like a plan. But we were at dinner with his parents and his parents' best friend, the lady that like introduced us. And we're talking, and like, come to find out, his mom proposed to his dad. Oh! And this lady that is the one that introduced us had like proposed to her husband, and so it just like seemed, it was a whole thing. Yeah, it was like a whole thing, and so I, I was pregnant. Well, there you go. <laughs> so I think that's another story. So, story. so yeah. it seemed like you know whatever. And I, he had said like he was planning on proposing, but it was just so you cute. were like. Well, it was just so cute because, like, they had both proposed, I don't know. And so I did, the next morning, I asked him to marry me. Um, and then I probably, like, asked him to marry me a thousand more times. Like, if it was, like, a cute, it ended yeah. up being, like, a cute joke. Like, yeah. when we were laying in bed snuggling, and I was like, hey, will you marry me? You know, whatever. Yeah. It was, like, yeah. a cute thing. Like the Paul um, Dolson. <clears throat> but, dot, 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 I would say I would not propose again. Um... Because I did, like, throughout, our, and even now, um, I'm like, did he marry me because he wanted to? Oh. Or, like, would he have really ever asked? Or did he just say yes because I asked? And so it does, like, it plays tricks in your head over, like, we've been married almost 10 years and separated for two. But it does, like, play in your head a little bit where it's like, well, of course we're separated because he only, like, said yes because I asked him. So, I wouldn't do it again. I wouldn't recommend it. There was, well, my, one of my favorite uh, videos I've seen, I'm seeing, I love proposals on TikTok and stuff too, but there was this one that I just loved, and it was, it was a same-sex couple, and they might have been at Disneyland or somewhere big. Somebody's recording it, and one of the partners, like, like okay I'm gonna do it and they get down on one knee and then the person goes hold on like I was gonna propose to you and they, they proposed to each other and I it was like they were they both thinking it yeah. yes and it was like at the other person doing it they were like I was gonna do it too and so then it's like you know That's that they so both really wanted it yeah. and what's that thing they say like um they oh. ask you first and then they show you the ring. Like they don't they're not supposed to like show you the ring and ask you. Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. 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 They're supposed to say we marry me and then so you like take the ring out. Yeah. So you're you're saying yes to the person, not the ring. Right, right. Cameron asked he had like he had, the proposal was like in my birthday card and then I looked up at him and then he took it out, but then I like you know how I am. I like flailed and like hit him. <laughs> And we were at the top of a height, and like he was like, Jay! because I like hit the ring, and he was like, oh! Oh. <laughs> oh my so he was like, chill out one second, and then opened it. But I was like, you know, did you have any idea that morning? 
that it was going no, down. No, we went to Cracker Barrel for breakfast. Everyone like, says they act he weird. Made it cool. Uh, no, and he he said we didn't even have a certain time we had to leave the house. He had planned to like do it at sunset on this hike. Like, or well, he we drove up, we didn't hike, but like he was like, let's go to this lookout, whatever. But like it was for my birthday, and I was. I always thought he was gonna do it like near our four year anniversary. Like we always do stuff for each other's birthdays. Yeah. And like, I love Cracker Barrel. And like, I was like, can we stop there on the way? Cause it's like on the way to Air- Lake Arrowhead. <laughs> anyway, so like, we were just like really cash. And then we got to this cabin and it was like really nice. And I was like, why did you get this really nice cabin? Like, <laughs> we, I was like, we've stayed in like Airstreams. Like, what are we doing? And so I cried because I was like, this is so nice. Like, this cabin is sweet. This was my birthday present. Like, thank you. This was my birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I really didn't know. And he did it on purpose because I thought he was going to propose, like, seven other times that this year or last year. I was like, he's going to do it on the cruise when there's no cell service because he knows I'm stressed. And, like, I knew – I was like, oh, and then on our anniversary, our three-year anniversary. And every time I was like – <laughs> got it <laughs> and so each time I would like in my head I was like it's fine whatever it's fine <laughs> and then on my birthday I was like oh every time my friends like go on a trip like I feel like there's like a formula like a new couple starts dating in their 30s and like first they'll go like if you live in the Phoenix area like first people will go to Flagstaff or to Sedona and then you can see it escalating and they go yeah. to Vegas and then they go to San Diego and then you'll see them in a holiday. And I'm doing this all on Facebook, right? Yeah. Like, you see it all online. And then around the time you start seeing them go, like, to the holidays to one of their parents back home. And then it's, like, the next big trip. It's, like, every time there was one, a couple of couples where I'm, like, they're on a trip. They're going to get engaged. I just know it. They're getting engaged. They're getting engaged. And I would say it all the time. And some sometimes they did. And other times they didn't. And they're, like, Mary, you just say that every time. I'm, like, it's going to happen. Yeah, but people think that, and even my mom thought it. Yeah. That was when it was weird, is, like, my mom thought he was going to propose a couple times, and she psyched me out, and I was like, well, wouldn't he tell you? I don't know. Yeah. So, my Sweet. my first husband asked my dad permission to marry me, and then didn't ask me to marry him. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see your dad. For, like, cool. eight months. Yeah. <gasps> And so at like six months, my dad like pulled me aside and he's like, so how are you and Garrett? Like, are you guys okay? And I'm like, yeah, we're great. Everything's fine. He's like, are you sure? <laughs> and I was like, yes. Why? Yeah. And he's like, well, you know, he like asked me to marry you like six months ago. Um, he asked me if he could have permission to ask you and like he just hasn't asked and like he, I told him he had to ask mom for the ring because it was like a whatever and he never did that and like. What's going on? And so I was like, I don't know. Like and I tried, to speak. yeah. So I like tried to play it so cool, and I played it cool for a little while, and then like Christmas came and went, and I like <gasps> I freaked out, very uncool. Freaked out one night after Christmas, and was like, you kept it. So up. you're never gonna ask me because I was like, you. I know you asked my dad, and he's like, why did he tell you? And I'm like, well, he wouldn't have told me, but like it's been almost. But you're like. It's been almost a year. Yeah. Uh, and so, like, he ended up asking me just, like, a few, like, months later. And, um, whatever. <laughs> I shouldn't have pushed it. I mean, so that's a common theme. It's, like, you can't push it. And that's why I feel yeah. like, in my case, like, in my experience, or what I want is I want them to choose me. I want them to decide this is what I want, that they want, and then ask me. And yeah. if I ask them, I feel like... It's, you don't know. It's, it's kind of like, you know, do you want pizza or burgers? I'm like, whatever. It's like, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, whatever you give me. I want somebody to say, no, I want pizza. And I think traditionally for guys, the proposal is kind of the biggest part of the relationship for them. I mean, once you get married or as you're planning your wedding, a lot of that, and this is just, you know, I'm, this is a blanket statement. No one get offended. How dare you, Katie? But mostly women and the bridesmaids and the moms are planning stuff. Yeah. And even when you buy a house, like, the women and the friends and the in-laws are helping to, like, decorate. And when you have a baby, the baby shower is with, the, like, so the guys, like, this is their opportunity to, like, this is their, yeah. this is their stamp. And so guys <laughs> get really excited. Like, that's why Cameron went above and beyond. 
and got a really beautiful cabin. And, yeah. you know, guys go the extra mile because they know, yes, this is the moment to make like their, their most, the most important person in their lives feel special. And I yeah. think a lot of guys actually take that very seriously. What was your, can, what was your proposal? Yeah, so we were on vacation and kind of similar to <laughs> Hillary where we had like talked about getting engaged like nine months before that vacation and we were starting to get like at the halfway point in the in, in the vacation I was like what the fuck we're like on a very romantic trip in like the most romantic country on earth Where was it in France <gasps> oh wow. and no fucking ring not even a talk of it like there was like nothing was even mentioned and we were um we had switched hotels to kind of check out a different part of the country and I like had a full on <laughs> drunken meltdown. I was like, fuck this, I'm leaving. I like could I like couldn't figure out how to like dial out of the country. So I like I was like, I'm calling my brother, he's just gonna I'm gonna give him my credit card information. I couldn't like get online. I'm like, tell him to get me a ticket and get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> I moved from Pennsylvania to be with you. We were together for six years at that point. And I was like, it's been six years and then another nine months. Like, what the fuck? And then and then the next, like, it was, like, two days later, he ended up proposing because he wanted to, like, scout out the area or whatever. But he had the ring with him the whole time. But <laughs> literally. Were you laughing? Like, I was just, like, let me know? yeah, I just, and he, like, the whole time, he was just, like, you know, everything's great. Like, everything's going to be fine. I promise this trip is going to, like, really come together. <laughs> and he's, like, trying to calm me down. I'm, like, no, fuck what? <laughs> and I think, really, for me, it just came <sighs> through, like, the lens of just like why am I not good enough like yes. why am I not worthy like and I think for me I never needed like a grand thing we never needed to do it on vacation it was just like I love you you've been my person like what's the hold up right. and so I was completely internalizing it and then when it all happened it was beautiful and memorable but it was a mind fuck leading up to that. Yeah. Maybe yeah. you have to have that meltdown so they know what kind of crazy they're getting. Well, I, I it was, was like, insane. like if they're like, okay, I it know so her in her words. I was like, we've been together for four years, yeah. and if you don't want to marry me, what are Tell we doing? Me now. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me so that I can like be done and go yes. be married to someone else because I'm wasting. I only have so many years, yep. and I don't want to waste my years on you, like. Four years, that's a long time if you don't want to marry me. You, like, if you didn't, if you, I, this was my thing. I was like, maybe you weren't ready to get married, but you should have known a long time ago that you yes wanted no. to marry yeah. me. Yes. Because I feel like you either are like, yes, I do want to marry her. No, I don't want to marry her. Maybe not today, but, like, down the road, I see that. And I, so that's basically what I was like. I was like, either you do or you don't. And yes. if you do, then I guess I can wait. But, like, what are we waiting for? But I can wait. But, like... If you don't, cut me loose. I think guys shoot don't themselves waste my time. in the foot because it sounds like we all kind of had a similar feeling. Of I think they shoot themselves in the foot by talking about it, like verbalizing mm, it too yes. soon. Yes. And then, and then we're like, okay, well, if you know that you want that, like, let's why don't do we just it. do it? Because so I moved in with Cameron at six months, which is like pretty fast. And he talked about that he knew, like, when you know, you know the whole, you know. He said that at like nine months and then four years. And so for, you know, yeah. like those in between years, it was like, did something change? Right. That held you back now between yeah. nine months and four years. Like, did you, something give you pause that you aren't sure about me anymore? So anyway, like, but then he was like, no, it's a money thing. And like, he wanted to pay off his debt and not include me, bring it into the marriage, which I think is respectable. But I, I thought it was me. Yeah, and you then doubt I yourself. And I asked him about it and was like, I'm not on a rush because I'm not trying to pop out babies. That's not in the game plan. So I was like, I'm not in a rush, but I would you like like you to be honest if you're if you're having pause for some reason, like I want to know. Yeah. I think with guys, and this is something like we don't really understand because we don't think this way. To them, they're like, I really want to make sure because they feel like they're giving up something. They're giving up their freedom. Yes. So it's like mm -hmm. they and, – and that's why a lot of people, like, and you see that happening when if you move in with him and now they have no reason 
And I know it doesn't make sense to us, but to them, they have no reason to propose to you now because they have everything. You're already yeah. there. You're doing their laundry. You're, the you're like, it's not any them. different. What does it matter? And then you're like, yeah, it's not any different. What, what does, does it matter? matter? Yeah. So, and that's why I think if you play a little hardball, you can get it quicker. Yeah. But we can't do it. We're bad at that. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did, I would, because Stephen and I were together for six years before we got engaged. And I tried so hard to convince myself that I was a cool girl that didn't like need to be engaged or didn't need to like be married or anything like that. And I just wasn't like I wanted the commitment. Yeah. I wanted like mm -hmm. not. I I just I wanted that. Mm -hmm. Like I always. I just that for me was really important, and I'm okay. I'm happy that we're there. But I I don't know if anyone's actually the cool girl. I wanted to but be then there. it comes down to the legal aspect of it yeah. and this was a big um, you know argument when you're talking about same-sex marriage being like federally recognized is that now this person has like makes the decisions for you mm -hmm. and has legal rights to things and so if there's a lot more involved mm -hmm. yeah. like that really escalated we really went yeah. there on this question yeah this is amazing and then somehow yeah. like the we kind of stayed on theme, like some. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it was random, absolutely. The universe wanted it to happen. <laughs> yeah. A bachelorette themed question. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.